it's Boxing Day in the UK, or in our case, Unboxing Day. Yeah, Christmas presents. A good Christmas present. I've got a 3D printer. Boxing Day basically, if you don't know, was the day that officially duels and fights of four people's honour were allowed to take place. That's what the term Boxing Day. Anyway, but in our case, it's the day when we try to unpack this and make sense of it. Obviously, I know what 3D printer is and how it works and all that, and, but I've always thought they were going to be out of my range and a big problem, however, is where is it going to go? Also, I don't even know how much noise these make because whenever you see anyone print things, it's on time lapse because it takes so long and there's no sound. So I worry that it's going to be a, like a rock tumbler, but hopefully not. And hopefully this will mark a new era in London Creative, printing things and making them go like, Ugh. This is the Easy Thread 3D printer. Apparently, it's probably the best for somebody who's never had a printer. I think that's just practice filament, some very long screws, screwdriver, a USB stick, and some rubbery things. There's a USB cable. Obviously, everything comes from Tora. About half the person that makes things and helps me make things. And she bought me a decent amount of filament. Some plastic bags. And I got a manual. A manual. Okay. I got it all out of the box. Lots of so we have one plate and then one of these and then a thing that goes up there and that goes there. Let's tip you down a bit. You know you don't need to see my face. You know what I look like. You've been scared enough. Okay, apparently the orange and pink versions of these were a lot more money. So I've got the, it's, we're, we're going with it's turquoise. Now we've got to put it together. Okay, it's all the XZ axis to the printer. Thank you. <sighs> Fix the screws. End to end docking. That's it. That's the instructions. And the writing is very small. Put the x-axis motor wire through this hole. That's the instructions. Mount this here. Mount it in the inserting slot of build platform. Huh? Put, install the xz axis on the printer base. Where? In there, I'm assuming. Oh, like that. Right. Assuming it goes like that. There is a hole here. Basically, I'm putting this together on camera so that if you, like me, get this and try to read the instructions and then think, you know, YouTube will help. I've done this before with the neat and handy air gun and that seemed fairly popular. So, you know, should you be struggling, hopefully this will help. If not, you'll just sit there and laugh at my incompetence. You have to be careful. This, these wires are pretty thin. Okay, that's it. After insert the XZ axis, fit XZ axis on the platform. What? After inserting the XZ axis, fit the XZ axis on the platform. Did it mean with the screws? Ah, long screws go through here. Two long screws. They go through here. Everything we ever do, no matter what you do, no matter what you open, whatever you get, solo hair, dog's hair. And there's a hair in between the wires. You have to screw the whole thing through, even through the hole. The hole is pretty tight. Talk among yourselves. Oh, it could be a while. Thread in the screw through the hole. Well, thread in the screw. You don't like my singing, huh? Thread in, we're threading. 
We're threading. Problem is, I've got to get that in this little hole. There's, a, there's another hole at the other end. I've got to hold it in place while I thread it, it through the hole. And of course it's doing that again. I'm trying to hold it in place with something that's not going to be abrasive or damaging. Using a pencil. Do you know what a pencil is? We'll come to that soon. Don't worry, it'll make sense in a few weeks. Please check whether the X axis and Y axis matches are connected properly. I'm assuming this must connect to. There's a wire here. I found it. There's a wire on this black wire here that sticks out here. And this, this wire here connects to that. Okay, I need the super duper magnifying glasses on because I can't see. It's so close. Connector block to connector block. Is there a definite way or end? No. I'm assuming there's only like one way to connect. Yep, that connects. There's just some like button, triggery button there. Please check whether the X axis and Y axis motor are, are connected properly. I would do, but I've got no idea what. Seriously, how small is this picture? How would I know? I assume that's right. Next, install the filament holder as below. The filament holder can only hold 250 grams of filament. How much is this? I don't think that fits in there. This is, this is a kilo. So you yeah, have to do it bit by bit. What do you wire it on? Where's the spool? It doesn't come with a spool. Houston, we have a problem. That is like, hang the filament on the holder. Hang the filament holder on the holder. Okay, I can see us having a problem here. Tighten. They don't tighten up. They are as tight as they can go. No, that's fully tight, so that does that. Filament through the Teflon hole. Where? Okay, we're coming back to this because I can't put the filament on because it needs to be on a spool, and I don't have a spool. The spool I've got is this and it doesn't fit. It does, however, come with two little nuts that are not mentioned previously. Having spent five minutes threading the screw through the hole, I've worked something out. You need to put it in this way around, from the plate outward, not from the outside inward. So I can't get the screwdriver on there because the plate's going to get, uh, hit the plate every time. But now I've got to try and get that over a screw that's butted up against a clip. That bolt has got to go on so that screw is touching this clip. So I kind of put my finger on it and hope I can screw the screw into the bolt. It's clearly designed for somebody with very, very small hands. This is hurting my finger. I've, ow. A hole in my finger now. Look, I don't know what this clip is for. I don't think I'm meant to be turning it on and off. Okay, let's wonder. Eventually, we come back, go back to the previous problem. That's all together. That goes there. That goes, oh, what that's for? This goes on there, like so, like that. And then you put the spool that you are not supplied with over this. Hangs on there, like so. There's no way of holding a solidifier in that. And I don't think this works without it being on a spool, but it goes in. Yeah, see, it's going to come off there. It's going to fall off of there and go all over the. So it needs to be on the spool because you pull that, all that's going to do is get tighter and tighter and tighter. But that is supposed to go into that hole there. Then you plug in. Well, you would plug that in if the hole ma married up with the plug inside. It doesn't go in. It doesn't line up. Slicer software installation. This printer has independently developed slicing software named EasyWare, which is pre-installed in the TF card. Please copy 
EasyWare files to your computer, you can download EasyWare from EasyThread official website. EasyWare Slicer can recognize STL format. If you want better printing quality, you need learn how to use Cura Slicer. We we teach video. That help? Day two. We have now progressed to winding a the spool around LED light strip. Tora has spent the last like, half an hour trying to wind this round and do this so that it will fit onto this, which is the filament holder. An attempt to rectify that is now like that. Okay, easy thread two, easy wear win, slicer software, hooping goodie. Okay, there is a video explains everything which i did not know it was on the sd card and it's now doing this which is doing there okay then you get this thing four corners so piece of paper is touching adjust the distance between the nozzle and the platform in the four corners the distance of the thickness of the paper when you pull the paper can you feel there's a scratch this is not going under so we're gonna can i can move this over supposedly no i can't just i can't get my finger on it so i just it down I don't know how much I've got to turn it. Try that way because it's way too loose going that way. Ah, it's moved. And there. Okay, the paper will slide underneath that one. Okay, is that going under? Yes. Okay, we've got to the in filament section on the video. The clicking has started. I inserted SD card. I pressed OK. It's saying eating elements. Guess we now wait. So if it's printing the test hooting, whatever test hooting is. First print, the first attempt of using the Easy Thread X2, or as I've just realised, it's the Easy Thread X2. The manual, likewise, is um, very, very small and at times, not all the time of it, but translates, I think, into Russian and then into English, so it doesn't quite make sense and very hard to read in some places. But let me it doesn't say in there, in big or small at front, is you get this, a flash drive with an SD card in the end. And on that is the manual as a PDF. So it's massive, so you can read it. And there's also videos to play it through to show you exactly how you install it, which would have helped. But it doesn't tell you to plug that in till you've got everything together. And then once that's done, then plug this in and then you get the instruction manual. If you've got one of these and you've not set it up yet and you're thinking, mm, how do I do it? Plug this into your computer. Right, the problem you're going to have is I've got a Mac. I don't know if it does the same with the PC, but when you try and install the splicing software, the computer won't run it because it says it's full of malware. I tried downloading it, same issue. The website, the Easy Thread website, is basic at best. It's a lot of generic pictures and nothing else and nothing really useful. But we did manage to get that to print. It took two hours to print, for reference. Yeah, that big, two hours. Turning it off was a problem. Apparently you have to go into the in and out filament and remove the filament, to, like eject the filament. I couldn't for the life of me work it out. I spent about half an hour after it finished printing trying to get the head to rise up to move. In the end, I just lifted it on the Z axis. The biggest problem though is this. The, 
spool holder here. One, it doesn't do up, it's tight. So I've um, put a piece of balsa wood, just wedged it in to make it tight. Without it, it just kept wrestling back and forward. Secondly, it only takes a 250 gram GSM spool, but even then it sticks past the edge of the plate. And so when the head goes past, it'll bang into the plate and stop it from printing. And the problem is that if you put this on the spool like that, well, as it as it prints, rather than spin round, all it does is get smaller and smaller and tighter and tighter. If you watch the time lapse, you'll see shadows. But it's my hand going in and moving the cable round to make sure it doesn't keep getting caught. But it keeps doing this. It pings off. I think what people have done is bought a spool holder and they put it to the side. You can't print a spool holder big enough off of this in order to do it. But also you'd have to then sit there holding the spool. <sighs> yeah. Teething problems, as it were. The test print just said test hooding, but it apparently it means vase, although hooding apparently means owl, things you learn. But overall, yeah, not bad. But for now, I'm gonna have to find some flowers to print off. If this was helpful and it was useful, this, then please do give this video a thumbs up or a vase up. Give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows you've seen this and it's been helpful. If you know somebody's got this and you want to share it with them send it to them please do so that really makes the algorithm go oh someone shared something you can just send it to yourself or send it to someone and go look he's an idiot it doesn't know how to work a 3d printer that'll be worth a laugh if this and other things that are creative are your boat and you want to see more of me making stuff breaking stuff burning stuff poisoning myself you know setting fire to things all manner of those sort of things anything creative then hit the subscribe button down there and come back next time for something else something new something different something i don't know what yet because i haven't done it yet and i hope this is useful and i hope to see you soon happy new year if you're watching this in the middle of july happy new year i don't know why i said happy new but i did right It's very low. I've had two hours sleep. This is why I'm rambling and not making any much sense. That and the fact that <coughs> there are pigeons on the balcony going, ooh, 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 I landed on the balcony. <laughs> you know, pigeons are stupid. They, they get excited over it. Take three after the pigeons and the stupid phone calls and all that. Take three. The idiot upstairs is. Yeah, you guessed it, banging and playing with his squeaky door. There's a man downstairs screaming his head off on the phone and there are people standing, still standing at my front door, threatening to kill me. And this is New Year's Eve. And let's hope that 2024 brings change. Anyway, going back.